Maybe he sent me a text even before I did because Coach told him he sent me a text right away. Uh, I met him like the first day I was in the building. He's been awesome and uh, he's an awesome guy to be around in the room, to be around every day. Really, all those guys in the room make it fun. Um, you know, people ask possession, like obviously the quarterback position, only one guy plays. And, uh, you know, I've been in other situations where it's definitely been awkward, but uh, that's that's not really the situation here, especially going through competition. You know, all the guys have been awesome. Yeah, how, how, do you, how do you see him push your game and how do you help push your game? Uh, you know, we really just collaborate, I think, a lot. You know, it's a new offense for both of us, for all the guys in the room. So uh, when something comes up, you know, we're putting in something none of us have run. You know, it's nice to kind of talk through with other guys and uh, especially, you know, there's a lot of conversations you have with coaches, but, you know, in between, there's a lot of downtime. So I think a lot of that stuff kind of allows you to talk to, you know, the other guy and say, hey, man, what do you think about this? Like, what did you see here when I ran this? And, you know, you find more times than not, you're kind of seeing it the same way more times. Tina, how well have you got to know kind of the new receivers in this group? And have you gotten a lot of time to build any chemistry or any kind of relationships with them yet? Yeah, uh, we spent a lot of time this summer. You know, there's obviously, like, the mandatory work that you have to put in, but I think beyond that, we talk about, you know, I think the LSU crew, when Joe Burrow was there, they talked about 10,000 throws. Um, so that was kind of our goal going to summer, like, let's get as many throws as we can. Um, so we spent a lot of time together this summer and then the, the voluntary, you know, throwing sessions, um, and they've been great. Um, and it kind of allows you to get to notice them, or get to know them a bit more. And uh, beyond that, you know, you come out today and, you know, you feel like you're in sync with those guys. Your timing's down. So you've done, you've thrown every route so many times. Um, so it's been really great. Those guys work really hard. How close did you get to those 10,000 throws? Uh, we didn't count. I think we got past it, honestly. <laughs> we we kind of figured out, like, hey, if we throw, like, 100 balls every day, if we throw four or five times a week, we're going to hit that number at some point. And we didn't, there was never a time or day where we, like, missed it, you know. Even if it was going out and running the back half of the route, because you want to protect those guys' legs and stuff. Yeah. But um, we definitely hit it. I'm not sure what the exact number is but we definitely hit it yeah Pat talked about how you know, he wants one of you you and to sort of establish yourselves as the dude um, the Steelers are going through a similar thing I was up there the other day talking to those guys and they're like you know we're trying not to count who's practicing who, who's getting what reps but I mean are you mentally keeping track of how you're doing and how he's doing I mean is there like a running is it or do you have to sort of block it out yeah I think it's best to kind of just focus on what you're doing sorry <laughs> for some extent it's extent you know like you can definitely get caught up I've been in other quarterback competitions you can get caught up in the other guys are doing and I think if you look too much into that it kind of changes your own game too much um, it's great to learn from other guys and see what they're doing. Um, but at the end of the day, for me, I think it's always best. You know, it might be different for other people too. But for me personally, I always kind of view it as like, hey man, there's like you're in a competition, you gotta be great. But at the end of the day, like, just do what you do best, and he's gonna do what he does best. The coach is gonna evaluate it. Like, you can't change your game or do anything different based on another guy. It might push you to be more of a leader uh, or establish yourself with the guys more. But you know, when it comes to on the play, you need to like on the field, you need to do what you do best. Whoever it is, I mean, 